Sorry, I had to mute the other guys for a minute. Hey, Rockstar, you see this guy right here? Right here? This is the type of player we hate. Always hiding, running off, killing us, running, hiding, all that good shit. They do this all the time. Every time. And I wonder why we get so tired of this shit. Because a lot of us are sick and tired of playing fair. Because of this crap. It's like, why the hell should we bother? Why the hell should we bother playing fair when guys let's see, where is he at? He's hiding. I'm talking about this purple guy right here, Big Daddy. Where the hell he just went? That guy. Purple. Off radar all the time. Coward. And these are the type of players we want out of this game. We're sick of this crap. All I do is run, hide. Kill, run, hide. Go off radar. That's all I do. Just to piss people off. And this guy's doing a damn good job of it. Because we're trying to get rid of him. He's leaving, coming back, because he has friends in this lobby. And his friends are helping him. We got other issues with players like him. Players we like car call barcodes. Barcodes. You know, I, 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 or whatever the hell they use. Those type of players. Or triad crews, or bar barcode crews. Those type of players we hate. As your guess is good as any, is why they like to use barcodes as a name tag. So they can't get caught. Or whatever they like to do. They figure... You got a barcode. Very hard game to track down because there are thousands of people using those names. Why the hell let those people play this game who are going to do that? It's kind of sneaky, ain't it there, Rockstar? This type of bullshit that pisses us off. So, please do something about it. Because we're tired of these out off radar bitches who like to hide in tunnels. Or run and hide in their apartments. Yeah, we guess it's a good strategy, but it's getting annoying. Because they like to go out, kill, cause a bunch of trouble, all the other good shit. We're in here trying to do our own thing, and got these players pulling this crap off. And they know they're too damn scared to fight back. They know once we start kicking their asses, they get all mad and want to report and kick us all the damn time. Here's another thing, Rockstar. Get your motherfucking asses in gear and please clean up your damn uh, bad sport issues or your bad sport shit. Make it so that we can't, put, that we aren't getting bad support for destroying um, weaponized personal vehicles. If they got weapons on them, and those players are using them against other players, they get destroyed. Why the fuck make us play, pay for it? Why make us pay for this shit? That ain't right, you know that? How is it right or fair to us that we're getting bad support for destroying somebody's weaponized personal vehicle when they're out there using them against us? Explain that to me, Rockstar. Explain that. This is nonsense, people. This is absolute nonsense, Rockstar. And I got a friend right there. He's tired of this crap himself. You heard him. He's pissed off. Cause this guy's hiding and wherever the hell he's at. He most likely left the lobby. Yes, he did. He actually left the lobby. So y'all got his name, Purple Guy, Daddy Y, Daddy MM. That's his name. 
But we got players like them, like him, doing this all the crap. Doing this all the time. We are sick of it. We're sick of being falsely reported for going after players like that. They get so mad when you play them their own game. And they're gonna sit there and do shit to you. When you go and do it back to them, they get mad. They get so mad. And I mean, they few. They get so mad. And they just fuck with everybody. And they start reporting us and all other crap. Believe me, your bad sport program is fucking, it's flawed. It is severely flawed. Your bad sport rules are flawed because the wrong people are getting put in bad sport while all the right one, the ones who need be in bad sport are gone for good are the barcode players, try-hard crews, you name it. They're out here doing all this crap. Players who literally have fake KDs, high rank, 8,000, level 8,000 or plus, or 1,000 plus, but I know some of these thousand level 1000s are legit but I'm talking about the ones who have impossible levels like 2000 beyond probably beyond that unless they are really super hard grinders legitimate because I have yet to see legitimate level 2000s yet and or having KDs over 1000 or 1 million those are the type of players we hate because they're coming in here fucking with us and we get in trouble for taking the fight back wrong. Or doing to them what they're doing to us. And I know I get, I risk getting reported for doing it. But I do it anyway because I'm getting tired of this crap. If I see a bunch of try hard panty asses come around here blowing people up for no fucking reason at all. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to hammer on their asses. I am going to hammer on them. They get bitch and complain about it. Oh well, you know, those are the type of players we hate. I do what I do, and I know it ain't right, but you got a bunch of players fighting them anyway, those are the players you need to be found out. You know, actually do something about uh, these YouTubers. They're the ones who post these glitches all the time. I don't always glitch. I know how to dodge and leave in a jet just like anyone else could. And when they get taken down, they cry about it. They always cry about it. Because I've learned these jets so well, I know how to dodge and leave these oppressors like nothing. I can dodge and leave, no problem. If I get hit, oh well. I'll go grab another jet, get back up in the fight. But we got a lot of these assholes who like to do all this other shit. Like lag switching. Those are the type of players we hate. They, these guys literally lag switching. You can see it. You know they are lag switching. They lag switch hard. And you see them skipping across the sky. Just getting around behind you. Killing you. So, yes. Rockstar, fix GTA, please. Please fix it. And please, one more DLC for GTA before GTA 6 comes out. Give us a trucker's DLC. Like custom big rigs and trucks. All the other good shit. You know, basically, basically a redneck madness DLC. So we can customize any badass truck we want. Like sand kings and semi trucks. Or MOCs. Or custom loads. Custom trailers. All the other good shit. We want that for Grand Theft Auto Online, Grand Theft Auto 5. Because I know there are people out there who like to customize big rigs, so you guys got to bring that to GT Online. Bring it on soon, please. 